You don't have the authority to do that. I'm a, I'm a member of the press. I have a press pass in my pocket. Not that I have to show it to you. That's the First Amendment. Okay. I'm going back into videotape. If somebody wants to eject me or the, or the organizer wants to come, or you want to call a policeman, that's fine. I'm going to sit here and videotape. It's ridiculous. Well, they can speak to me then if they'd like to. It's their business. Public event, public speaker. Here's one of those people sneaking out back. Thomas Jefferson um, actually, Sally Emmons, came into his employ at 13. She became pregnant by 16. Because when he asserted it, what did everyone else believe? Who is that? It had to be true. Not only people in the United States, but people where? All over the world. If he said it, they believed it, which makes what he's Public done school. so egregious. So he says we required less sleep. What was the word right they for? It's the First back? Amendment. But you see, this doesn't come up in the text. Thomas Jefferson is presented as a hero, and I'm saying if you're going to talk about education, tell the whole truth. Tell the whole truth. Because when you erase what he's done, you've erased the strength of my people. And then there's this man, you probably know him better. This is the Reverend John Newton. He makes a statement, and I quote, slaves are lesser creatures without Christian souls, and thus are not destined for the next world. He was raising little girls and women. That's what he was doing for a long time. And then he penned the most celebrated hymn in American history, which is Amazing, Amazing Grace. Grace. Stay with me, I lose people here. So then we move to you know, education. Is taken out of the Are you the event I'm organizer? I am. I want to get involved with the civil rights movement. I'm proud of how the art happens for a very important part of the nation. This is just relatively to the civilization. Here it is. All the other things that we made over the festival. So this is a public event, right? This is a white event. Yeah, the Oregon law says public event to which the public's invited. So under whose whose authority is it that, that we can't? Whose authority? Whose authority? That's my First Amendment right. So she's asked for it not to be video. Who is that? The presenter. That's all right. She can ask for anything she wants to. Who organized this event? Who paid for the room? Whose room is it? This is room paid for by the taxpayers. I'm here as a witness. That's the First Amendment. Are you so, trying to access this man? First of all, I'm talking to him. So I mean, okay. She's asked that it not be videotaped. And it's no different than any other presentation where people have asked that it not be videotaped. Well, I don't get, the event organizer, who is the event organizer? They have control on whether people videotape or not. Not the speaker. It's the, this this was paid for by the taxpayers. Am I? Yeah. Who, who is the, who's the organizer? I don't want to be videotaped, so... Okay, this is a public place. It's a public event. I don't care what you want or you don't want. I'm sitting there peacefully filming. It's the First Amendment of the United States. I'm a media person. That's ridiculous. Who is the, who is the organizer? If they tell me, if the organizer, if the person who rented this room tells me not to... Who are the organizers? Well, I'm going back into the event. I'm missing the event, and I'm paying for it. I'm a taxpayer. Here are the, uh, here are the organizers right here, so. Who's the organ? And what is your name? You better have some authority to be able to do that because as far as I'm concerned, you don't have the authority to do that. You don't have the authority to do that. I'm a, I'm a member of the press. I have a press pass in my pocket. Not that I have to show it to you. That's the First Amendment. Okay. I'm going back into videotape. If somebody wants to eject me or the, or the organizer wants to come or you want to call a policeman, that's fine. I'm going to sit here and videotape. It's ridiculous. The same educational process he is everything and has accomplished everything worthwhile. The presses and crushes at the
gentleman here film. Um, we've asked him not to, and I doubt he's going to put a spin on it. That was it. We've said to everyone, I believe uh, Carolyn Leonard made the statement that it shouldn't be done. I am requesting that you not videotape me. Now, the reason why we will stop is because he will, uh, he refuses to not videotape me. Well, that's my First Amendment right. Not, not right right no, who's, the, who's the event organizer? Who's the person who is deciding that organize this event that's saying we can't videotape in this event? Who is that person? You can listen and you can talk. It's the First Amendment of the United States. That's my right. Who is the organizer? Who's? Do you go to events where they say you can't record take pictures? Who's say, the, uh, public events where there's a public speaker? No. It's paid for by the taxpayer. Who is the organizer? Who organized the event? If the event organizer tells me no, I'll stop. Doesn't that make sense? Who's the event? Who's the event organizer? We are all here to hear an amazing, talented, gifted speaker. What's the big secret then? Sir, your selfishness. You are one in this room, and you are out of order. You should get. Well, you may think so, but. The the founding of the United States has freedom of the press. That's correct. That's correct. That's correct. What do you want? I want to videotape the event. I want to listen to the speaker. I'm a taxpayer. The founding fathers didn't talk about videotaping. What? The founding fathers had freedom of the press. And the you can have that. Whoever the event organizer is, if they tell me to stop, I'll stop. Do you have a press credential? I do. I don't need to show it to you. Why do I need to show it to you? I don't need Sir, to show it to you. I'm, I'm requesting that you not videotape me. It's not about. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, okay. I'm trying to be polite, but this is a, this is a public event paid for by the taxpayers, it's and unless whoever whoever right. The, the room is. It, the public was invited. The public was invited to this event, sir. Yes, it was. Who is the who is the event organizer? If the event organizer, whoever put this together, asks me to not to not videotape, I will do that. But I want to know who that person is. The speaker is asking. Yes, she's not the organizer. Who organized the event for you? Who organized you to come into a Portland public school and speak? Sir, are you willing to just stop taking? No. I would like you to not take me. No. It's my information. It's my. Material. I'm sorry. That's my First Amendment right. We have a contract that requires you not to tape. This is her information. What about intellectual we property? We bought a non tape. Yeah, intellectual property. How about that? The event organizer has the right to stop me. Whoever, whoever organized it. Who organized this event? Sorry. And I won't leave. And I won't stop taping. <laughs> I'll stand. Yeah, I'll stand. This is a taxpayer space, correct? Great. I have a right to stand here. You do. You can get in the way of the free press if you want to. <laughs> You're stealing her ideas and her images. Yeah, it's like intellectual property. She just doesn't What's want it to the, be like excuse public. Me. Sorry. Excuse me. She just doesn't want it to be public. Mm. That's right. I am, I'm taking notes of my camera. It's the freedom of the press. I'm sorry. If the event organizer, whoever's organizing the event, tells me to stop, I'll stop. Until then, I won't stop. You can't be that much of an asshole, are you? What? Why? To insist on my First Amendment rights? If that's being an asshole, then I won't. Why do you want to take it? What is your motive? Because it's freedom of the press, ma'am. It's called the First Amendment of the United States of America. You just want to prove a point. No, I want to share the information with other people. Show your press pass. Pull it out. I don't, need to, I don't need to show you anything. I need to show you she anything. She doesn't need to speak. The public could have come if they wanted to come. Where, where do you work? I am. I am the public. Can I come tomorrow to your work and videotape where you? Where are you? Would that be okay? No, because it's not a public place. Oh. Can I follow you on the way home and videotape you? You can. That's correct. You Great. can if you want to. What's your address? Go for it. I don't need You'd to give like you to my address. That. Why do I need to give you my address? I don't know. Why not? You need to read the Constitution of the United States. All of you people do. This is, my, this is part of my contract. Who's the event organizer? What do you mean? They have control over the venue.
funny. Why do you have the courage to say what your real problem is? My real problem is that I'm a member of the media no. and I'm reporting on it. No, what's your real problem? Say what you remember. Say what's really bothering you. I'm standing up. I'm standing up for the First Amendment. You're sitting. I'm standing up for the First Amendment. Metaphorically. It's called a metaphor. I know that's a big word for you, but She's it's a metaphor. She's asked for us not to videotape. Are you the event organizer? Yes, I am. Can I ask your name, please? What difference does that make? What's that? What difference does that make? I'm sorry, I need to know who what the event or does that because I don't no, recognize her authority until I know she is. You recognize Who's she's part of the Office of Equity and Partnerships, and there are 16 of us here. And who are you? And who are you? No. I'm sorry, what's your name? My name is Okay, and you're not allowing and you're not allowing people to videotape here. Is that correct? Okay, Jody. Jody Rutherford. Okay, I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. No videotape. I don't want to be here. Thank you, sir. Nice job. Stick your foot out right in front of me and. Trip me on the way out? What's her name? What's your name? Can you leave? I'm leaving my own volu volu I'm leaving voluntarily. Voluntarily. I appreciate that, sir. Yep, no problem. No problem. As long as we know who the event organizers are and that you can't video.